Hi gang, it's me, Mr. Campbell, welcoming you to a brave new era in which uh, you get to be taught by me, but without having to look at me. Hooray! Um, this is the first time I've done a video like this, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, what I'd really love you all to do is, once you've completed the three videos, you've watched the videos, you've filled in the notes um, that I've given you, which is the basically the homework task, um, it'd be great if you could leave comments on the videos and um, well you can any comment is useful but um, if you can comment on things which were particularly helpful or unhelpful anything I said which is unclear as to the meaning um, that would be really really helpful um, and obviously you can come and tell me in person um, but um, it be might be easy just to record things as you think of them after you've watched the videos um, so the idea is that you're gonna just get three videos matching the three worksheets that I've given you um, and I'm going to go through explaining about uh, first of all about scatter diagrams which is what you can see here and this is fairly easy it's just plotting them and explaining whether it's negative or positive correlation and um, this is just a funny method for how you can determine whether it's negative or positive then the second sheet defines a whole bunch of stuff that you uh, that you can calculate um, for sets of data, um, but it gives us this this meaningful bit of information R, the product moment correlation coefficient, and that gives us a number which describes the relationship between two sets of data. Um, oh, ignore that bit. Um, and when you get to the end of it, uh, the three lessons, you should have three sheets of notes where it's all filled in. I'm filling in basically the same thing that you've got on your notes. And oh, ignore that as well. And um, yeah, hopefully that will work. But um, we'll see, first time round, um, we'll see how it goes. Good luck.